So boys and girls, we're going to share the story today called Can You Say Peace? And it's written by Karen Katz. And uh, this book was actually written on a four uh, International Day of Peace. And every day throughout the year, children all over the world wish for peace. And Karen Katz takes the readers on a bright and colorful journey around the globe to meet some of these children and learn about the many ways to say peace. To all of the children around the world are peacemakers of the future. Today is peace day all around the world. Children everywhere will wish for peace, hope for peace, and ask for peace. All around the world today, there will be many different ways to say peace. Mina lives in India. Mina says, Shanti. Emily lives in America, and Emily says, peace. Kenji lives in Japan, and Kenji says, hey wa. Lynette lives in Australia, and Lynette says, kurtuku. And Carlos lives in Mexico, and Carlos says, paz. And Hannah lives in Iran, and Hannah says, Seoul. Stefan lives in Russia. Stefan says, mir. May lives in China, and May says, hey, Ping. Claire lives in France. Claire says, pe. Sadiki lives in Ghana, and Sadiki says, gumji ji. And Alona lives in Bolivia. Alona says, moka kama ni a. All around the world, children want to go to school, to walk in their towns and cities to play outside and to share food with their families. They want to do all these things and feel safe. No matter how we say it, we all want peace. Boys and girls, these are kids just like you. And these are kids who are going to work for peace just like you. We're proud of you and we know how awesome you will be over your lifetime at creating a world full of peace. Peace is by room two. I show peace by relaxing. I show peace in forgiving others and including them. I show peace by including other and being common in nature. I show peace by forgiving others. I show peace by sharing with others. I show peace by respecting my friends and forgiving others. I show peace by showing kindness and being helpful. I show peace by giving food to someone who needs it. I can show peace by being calm. I show peace by sharing with others. I show peace by being calm. I show peace by showing kindness and being helpful. I show peace by showing kindness. I show peace by including others. I show peace by Showing kindness and showing love.
Room 10 Peace Books based on Todd Parr's The Peace Book. The Peace Book. Peace is love. Peace is doing art. Peace is being truthful. Peace is helping others. Peace is being unique. Peace can lead you to other people. Peace can remind you that you are wonderful and amazing. The world is a better place because of you. Peace is making friends. Peace is taking a nap. Peace is being different. Peace is helping each other. Peace is being a unique, the world is a better place because of peaceful people like us. Love goodness. The Peace Book. Peace is listening to music. Peace is helping people. Let me help you out. The Peace Book. Peace is listening to music. Peace is helping people. Peace is going to class. Peace is reading a book. Peace is being alone. Peace makes people feel calm because it it makes people be quiet and calm down by the minute. Peace. The the peace book. Peace is watch washing a car. Peace is, peace is loving having a brother. Peace is making friends. Peace is making a cake for your family. Peace is sleeping in the sun. Love to have it. Peace book. The peace book. Peace is love. Is what it is watching is snow. Peace, Great. peace is making peace. Peace is love. Peace is listening. Peace is listening to music. Peace is having fun. Peace is different. Peace is helping each other. The world is a better place because of you. Peace is having fun. Mm, the peace book. Peace is counting everyone in. Peace is caring. Peace is playing together. Peace is trying together. Peace is listening to each other. Peace is a lot. It can be in you. It can be near you or even be you. You have a voice to you. The world is a better place because of you. With love, Mehekti. The Peace Book. Peace is love. Peace is making friends. Peace is helping others. Peace is growing a plan. Peace is being someone drumby. Peace is being different and helping friends. The world is a better place because of you. Love these books. Peace is playing video games. Peace is growing a plant. Peace is helping each other. Peace is kindness. Peace is looking out for each other. Peace is making friends with love for me. The peace. Peace is the peace is living at the better place. Peace is making friends.
This is singing the song. This is cooking the food. This is working together. The world is a better place because of you. The Peace Book by Aria. Peace is playing a manga. Peace is having fun. Peace is going to school. Peace is listening to ocean sounds. Peace is making friends. Love by Aria. Peace is love. Peace is listening friends. Peace is listening music. Peace is being kind. Peace is sharing. Peace is making dreams. Peace is being different, being kind, and being good. The world is a better place because of the love of peace book. Peace is kindness. Peace is doing art. Peace is helping people. Peace is reading a book. Peace is being alone. Peace is being different and making friends. The world is a better place because of you. Love is God. The peace book. Peace is learning something new. Peace is being someone's drumbeat. Peace is doing our synth song. Peace is being alone when you need to. Peace is being in the fresh air. Peace is not just these things. There are lots of other things you can do to make this world a wonderful place. What will you do to make this world a better place? The world is a better place because of beautiful people like you. Love the peace book. Peace is love. Peace is watching it snow. Peace is offering a hug to a friend. Peace is taking a nap. Peace is making somebody warm. That is so. Peace is love. Peace is making friends. Peace is kindness. Peace is loving others. Peace is having good friends. Peace is being different, feeling good about your self and helping others. The world is a better place because of you. Love us. Peace book. Peace is playing. Peace is playing games. Peace is making friends. Peace is loving. Peace is helping your mom. Peace is being honest. Peace, the peace book. Peace is playing games. Peace is listening. Peace is making friends. Peace is love. Peace is loving. Peace is listening to sound. Peace is being different and playing with friends. The world is a better place because of you. Because of respectable people like you. Peace is playing video games. Peace is eating food. Peace is set standing up for others. Peace is playing outside. Peace is listening to music. Peace is the main thing you need in your life. It's the thing that makes you calm. With love from his the peace book. Peace is playing games. Peace is sleeping. Peace is reading. Peace is listening to music. Peace is playing outside. Peace is talking to our friends. Love Matthew.
magic words. Please thank you, son. Peace is love. Peace is peace is my help. Peace is kind and it's being kind to everyone because it's important. And back at Philly. Peace is generosity. Peace is to be helpful. Peace is love. Peace is a share. Peace is kind. Peace is hurt. Peace is be kind. Peace is play with your friends. Peace is bucket feeling. Peace is puppies. Peace is drawing. Peace is family. Uh, peace is be kind. Peace is reading. Peace is be happy. Peace is playing with others. Peace is love. Peace is kind. Peace is helping. Peace is be nice. Peace is love. Peace is kind. Peace is Peace is sharing. Peace is bucket filling. Peace is friends. Peace is wearing a poppy on Remembrance Day. Peace is making a poem for peace. Peace is yoga. Peace is kindness. Now you can shine, baby shine, baby shine. Is being kind to others. So is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Selamat po sa karangalan honors. Selamat po sa pananam palat kaya faith. Selamat po sa katapangan courage. Selamat po sa sacrifice of sacrifice. Selamat po sa buhay life. Salamat po sa pag-asa hope. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for inspiration. Did you know that the Métis, Inuit, First Nation created the population of the indigenous people and they served in the war? The first sunrise ceremony was in Vimy Ridge, France, April 1917. The battle was held in Vimy Ridge and the Canadians won. The sunrise ceremony gives thanks to people who fought in the war. They celebrate the two battles, D-Day and Passion de Day, with symbolic pipe smoking, singing, dancing, and drumming. The Vimy battle and the Passion Dale battle marked the 100th anniversary in, two, in 2017, and Bonfire Jr. participates in every ceremony every year. Powerful gesture lay a poppy on the gravestone of a Canadian who served in the military to show that they are remembered. Bears were kept as pets and mascots to raise morals and provide comfort so they help to remember the Remembrance Day. The main part about Remembrance Day is the 
cemeteries to put poppies on their graves to remember them, and they gave us freedom. Ellie symbolizes that people should never forget the Forgotten War, which is also known as the Korean War. Elephants were very useful on war construction projects because of their strength. The Korean, the Korean War started in 1950. The United Nations asked our country for help. More than 26,000 Canadians would travel to serve in Korea. Sadly, 560 Canadians died during the war. Since the Canadian soldiers sacrificed their lives to free the Dutch from the Germans, multiple schools across Canada participate in a tulip planting project. Tulips symbolize the friendship between Canada and Netherlands. More than 7,600 7, Canadians died in the process of freeing the Netherlands. Every year, the Netherlands send Canada thousands of colorful tulips as a thank you gift. The tulips bloom every spring in Canada's capital city of Ottawa. Simone represents tulips and walks around admiring them. To pay respect to the seven 75th anniversary of their freedom's return, the Kingdom of Netherlands contributed in organizing a Canada-wide tulip activity for schools. Last fall, many ceremonies took place. Students planted tulip bulbs carefully since they're an important part of Canada's history. Lots of Canadian soldiers died in Southwest Asia. About 40,000 Canadian soldiers served in Afghanistan for around 2001 to 2014. The Highway of Heroes is a highway for the Canadian soldiers to take them to their rest and peace destination. When the fallen Canadian soldiers arrived at the airbase, in Trenton, they are driven to Toronto, the Highway of Heroes. We think Squeaker symbolizes the Highway of Heroes because we can fly above it and oversee it.
Remembrance Day for me is the people who fought in World War and people who died for the country. Day to me means that when Canadian people remember all those who fought and died for Canada during the war. Remembrance Day means to me a day to honor the fallen. I mean to me a day to honor the fallen. We remember the people who fought for us so we can have freedom. Remembrance Day means to me that all soldiers that fought for our freedom. Every November 11th, Canada paused in a moment of silence. <laughs> to honor and remember the men and women who have served. Remembrance Day means to me is to honor the Canadian soldiers who died in war. For me, Remembrance Day is for you to remember someone who died with, while or after fighting for freedom in World War. Remembrance Day is to honor the heroes that fought in the wars to protect us. November 11th, we will remember the soldiers who died for Canada and for their families. We wear poppies to honor those who fought for us and for our freedom. Don't forget the people that have died and fought for us. Always remember. I am a soldier. Mom, Dad, I've made you proud. But I am the dead. War is violent. Soldiers are for remembering death from explosion. Their friends are guns. They live between death and life. They are the soldiers. We wear a poppy to honor our soldiers who fight, fought, and died. Hi boys and girls, it's good to be here with you in video style. Usually we come together as uh, a whole AE Wright family in our gym when we gather for our assembly. So this is a little bit different this year for sure. So we're coming together in video form so that we can think about Remembrance Day, which is tomorrow, November 11th. And yesterday, November the 9th, um, was Aboriginal Veterans Day in Canada as well. And so both of these days um, actually help us to think about the sacrifices and all of the important work that was done for us by people who came before us so that we could have a free and loving and peaceful country and a free and loving peaceful world. As people, we still have to work at that very hard every day. 
but there were a whole bunch of people that came long before us who made that happen for us in a way where a big word like democracy was born so that people could live in freedom and people could celebrate who they were in a free and just and um, healthy way, which is something we talk about at our school a lot. So boys and girls, uh, we're proud to get to come together today as an AE Wright family so that we can think about that. And uh, we're going to stand right now for a moment of silence to think about all of those people that sacrificed so much for us um, in our world so that we could live in a free and comfortable way. Thank <laughs> you.